All right. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. So small. All right, oh, we're just a, a funny little, funny little girl. She's slow compared to Eve. Yeah, she really is. But the her character design is, like, her sprite design is so cute. Her sprite design is so good. The way is blocked by a small patch of roses. Oh, little cat! <gasps> Meow. <laughs> You're up and at him, eh? Yeah. Humans shouldn't be out here. Too dangerous. Oh, the cat is my save file! Aww. Up is Blank's house, and down is out of the forest. A withered tree. Well, it's too dangerous. I guess you better leave. I guess so. Or try to. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, I can go down. Oh, more roses. Cold, seemingly artificial roses. What? But who could have put them here? I see this shiny thing. So found something rusty and sharp. Take it. A machete? A machete? Wow. Oh, using items. Items not used automatically. Stand in front of an object to interact with and use an item from the menu. Some items will have an effect simply due to your having them in your possession. Check an item's description for info. Movement. I mean, it's just... Uh, oh, I can dash. That's good to know. Oh, yeah. that's It's a little hard to control, but it's definitely a lot faster. Um, uh, the way down is blocked by a startlingly huge patch of roses. Alright, so I definitely have to go to Blank's house. Oh, and the kitty cat is gone. Well, maybe it's waiting somewhere else for you? Probably. I mean, it is your save file, so I don't know why I phrased it like that. It's, yeah. You'll see it again. <laughs> um, okay. Viola. Oh, Cute. Oh, I have a letter in my pocket. Mind if you go to her house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Machete. Cut roses. I'm sorry, roses. That's a very unpleasant sound. The way is cleared, and the machete broke. So the way out is blocked up by roses. <gasps> Guess you better go in. You gonna go in? Might as well if you can't leave. Cats are so unhelpful in these situations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just a little animal. He's just a little creature. He cannot change this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's quite dark. I have like a little sphere of, of uh, light, but... Alright. Oh, cool. Um, Come to my room. Don't like that. I, do, I honestly don't remember much about this game, but I'm pretty sure if I step on the blood stain, I just die right away. <laughs> I, you know, I've heard this game is pretty merciless about its death, so I wouldn't risk it. Yeah. Oh, and it's nice out here now. Hi, cat. Yo. Decided I'd follow you for laughs. Incidentally, where the heck you'd come out? Where, where the heck did you come out from? I mean, that's fair. It's not lit. Yo, it is not lit in We're here at all. <laughs> we can agree on that. Witch's Diary. I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Well, that's sad. Artificial flowers. It says, open when the house returns to normal. I think that's like related to the endings. House returns to normal. Uh, teddy bear Still rests again. The, <gasps> the house is not normal. <laughs> 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 or, you know, to the Joker, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that meme, it's so stupid. <laughs> oh, I, yes, but also. Yeah, okay, it is stupid, but I laugh at it every time. <laughs> A teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. Take teddy bear. Um, let's leave the teddy bear for now. Well, here's a different teddy bear. Bears in the basket. This looks like the room where trivia murder party would take place. 
It, yes. <gasps> Wait, we found her! What? The witch! She's been running the trivia murder party all along! <laughs> wow, I'm so glad she decided to put her powers to uh, entertainment use. Yeah, and you know, the prizes for uh, escaping with your life are really good. Yeah, yeah. She's really good at rewarding people. It's just <laughs> an all-around great game show. Cannot uh, stress enough that no she knows way around it. Yeah, 5 out of 5. No notes, 10 out of 10. <laughs> The basket has a big teddy bear in it. There's a little bit, bit of room left. All right, well, I guess that's uh, where the teddy's supposed to go. That's where I'm supposed to go. I will climb in. <laughs> if I fit, I sit. If I fit, I sit. It's where the cat needs to go. I just need to get the cat. <gasps> Put the cat in the teddy bear <laughs> basket. That is... Maybe this is where the witch is, like, filming all of her cat TikToks. Oh, that startled me. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid present falling over sound made me like yank my hands away from the keyboard. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna put the teddy bear in the basket. Its uh -oh. limbs make it too big to fit. Uh oh! Don't like that. I like how that's phrased. No. Um, a big stuffed bear. Yeah, its limbs make it too big. Well, I don't have the machete anymore, so I can't exactly hack it up. <laughs> Hi, cat. I'm just gonna save oh. compulsively. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fair. What if... Oh, scissors. Oh no, I don't like... I, I kind of like that less than the machete. Yeah, it something is... More intentional. Yeah, it's very, like, visceral. Mm -hmm. A dusty old dresser, there's nothing inside. Locked door. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. Take the scissors. Oh, they're chained. Oops. Okay, so I need to cut up- I need to cut off the bear's limbs! No, I don't like that. I, I think it's weird that that's the first thing this character, like, thinks of. Like, oh, I won't just- I won't just get a bigger basket for the bears. I'll cut off the teddy bear's limbs so it does what I want. <laughs> I don't like that. Well, I feel like it this seems like the sort of world where witches exist, so there's like that kind of fairy tale logic, but it is like a macabre oh, yeah. way to go. Yeah. I don't know. I got a teddy there's... bear torso. Oh, and the scissors are bloody now. Oh, I don't like that. Does Violet oh. know that this is a witch's house? Um, like, I don't know if she like... knows specifically. Cuz the letter says like don't mind if you go to her house. Yeah. It, hmm. I, I feel like she has, like, an inkling of it, whether she knows, like, explicitly. <laughs> the plot twist of the game is, like, oh, how do I know she's a witch? It's fine, actually. Like, <laughs> she just does a little bit of witchcraft to help me out on the side. It's cool. I'm a weird little girl. Like, witches love me. <laughs> <laughs> I am the ideal apprentice. <laughs> yes. A limbless teddy bear. It's red where its limbs were. No. Put the torso in. Oh, it fits perfectly. Oh, and I, oh, sweet. I guess the door on the left. Oh! oh no. <laughs> this is jump scaring me, dude. No! <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Coming out of the gate strong. Yup. Yup. I hated that. God, I am not immune. It's been a long time since I've played a scary game, like, for myself. I guess I'll take the teddy bear limbs. The door opened. Sick souvenir. Oh, you know what? I don't think I... Was the cat here? Okay, yeah. I want to save so I don't have to have that bear run at me again. Oh, that is a big fucking table. Oh, I can push the chairs. Large. Taste poison. Taste like an instruction? Like go taste the poison? How do I know what is the poison? Oh, there's a skull filled with green. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, green, my favorite flavor. <laughs> a strangely colored soup in a skull shaped bowl. Well, I guess that's the poison. Drink it. The cook is busy, lend a hand. Oh, I can go in here already. Uh, he's gonna cut off your hand. A book titled Dining of the Aristocrats. 
People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. By using such hard-to-clean cutlery, they could hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. Oh, shit. All right, so I guess I need to find some silverware. Although, I feel like I already know it's poison. But, I don't know. I mean, are you sure? Fairy tale logic, I guess. <laughs> Who can be sure? <laughs> Who can, can never, never be, be sure? sure? <laughs> <laughs> Rusty stove. There's someone invisible there. Hi. Ah, I'm busy. So busy. I do not want to lend a hand. What do you have in your inventory? Oh, good idea. I have... I have my letter and I have the teddy bear limbs. The insides are fleshy. Um, Wait, fleshy. Uh, oh, maybe maybe he wants the teddy bear limbs. Yeah, maybe. Depends on what he's making, I guess, but it's worth a shot. Hand over bear limbs. Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. Let me show my appreciation. Got a silver key. Cool. Oh, silver! Silver! Silver. Soup. Well, that pretty much confirms he was going to cut off your hand. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I do remember that, actually. <laughs> Hit bowl with key. It makes a pleasing sound. Hit put key in soup. Ding, ding, ding. I have an announcement to make. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> the key turned black in the soup. And that unlocked a door somehow. <laughs> nice. I don't know. I'm still not sure it's poison. Some stairs. Oh, a little ghost. A little ghost. A little ghost. Um, I don't I like, like this. Just gonna start pitching me a bunch of good ideas for names. Ghost, great name. <laughs> that ghost is a great non-binary name. It's the one punch syllable. <laughs> yes. And it's not a living creature. It's, a, it's, noun. Like yeah. it's a noun. Yeah. A decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. I love the idea of this cat just saying that. <laughs> like, as it's pretending to be an ornament. Um, oh, wait. Let me look at the... An armored figure with a spear. Feels like it could move at any moment. Very Scooby-Doo. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's some small text on the door. Save the butterfly. Okay. Oh, big room. Oh, a library! <gasps> we love a library. Oh, there's some, like low-level music that I'm not a fan of. The Witch's House 1. Keys do not open doors in the Witch's House. Something else must serve as a key. Witch's House oh, like 2. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> the form of the house changes based upon the Witch's magic. I mean, that tracks. Um. So, is this like an inherited house? Like, if it changes oh, like, based upon the witch's magic, like if a new witch like moves in like a hermit crab, does it change? I I would think so, yeah. I wonder if I guess no, because they are like kind of hermits, so it wouldn't be like a family of, of witches. A funny it's story. Like a Baba Yaga successor situation? Yeah, maybe. Once upon a time there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure. His cart had broken <laughs> down in the woods. <laughs> what? No, it's <laughs> his cart had broken down in the woods but there came a passing hunter and his dog the rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart to which the hunter agreed i'm not even tired why am i yawning uh maybe you're just not getting it i don't know <laughs> yeah i just Humor, don't have uh, any appreciation <laughs> The rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. Aww. Aww. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the man returned, he saw the dog on guard. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver Aww, coin to carry in his mouth. What a good boy! Aww, how cute. Good boy. <gasps> the dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. What? I what? Why? 
<gasps> I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it, so the master no. killed the dog. No! <laughs> oh, the witch loves that funny story. Oh, I can see me in a mirror. Despite everything, it's still you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unknown date. Blank residence burns down. Blank and his wife, Blank, were found dead in the wreckage. Their bodies were found to have stab wounds, so it is suspected they were murdered and the building then set aflame. Additionally, Blank's only daughter, Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire. The police... When there's a Did fun thing as usual. Yes. <laughs> there's a fun little sound as I finish that. Oh, another invisible servant. Hello. Sorting these books isn't going well. Need something to tie them together. So I guess I'll be on look the lookout for string. Lots of different books. I bet the teddy bears can help. <laughs> Just pull up. Oh. Fun bloodstain. Alright, so string. Oh, we got some cobwebs. Models of insects. Okay, so this must be the butterfly room. Models of insects are lined up inside the glass case. And there's the butterfly! There's a blue winged oh, butterfly model in the case. Uh, I'll take that. Oh, the cover on the case won't budge. Oh. I don't like whatever that was. A small bookshelf of book is missing. I don't have, like, yeah, I don't have anything. I don't have a book for this bookshelf. Um, there's no barrel. I don't have, like, a crowbar. Ugh, this glass case has a human head. Ew. Nasty. I feel like I'm missing, like, tools and stuff. I guess I'll go in this first room. Oh, barrels. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Oh, piece of rope in a barrel! Oh, sweet. Okay. This room looks really creepy. I'm gonna go give the guy the rope first. Wait, what was at the top of the room? There was some more barrels, and then oh, um, there was a butterfly tra trapped in a cobweb. Wasn't there something about save the butterfly? Yes. Can I'm gonna do one thing at a time, though. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm very nervous. That's that's fair. I've heard. I've already established that I've heard some shit about this game being just brutal. Mm-hmm. I I did also play this game, but I remember much less of it than Eve. You're giving me this? Yeah, thank you. Take this. Oh, you're approaching me? <laughs> <laughs> Got a book of death. That's cool. Hmm. Um, I bet it's fine if you yeah. read that. <laughs> that suit of armor is just fucking around out here and I don't like it. Time to save. And then I'll put this book on the bookshelf. And I will not read it. I love the side eye that your character model gives. Like, as the suit of armor scoops away. <laughs> She's just like, y'all hear something? <laughs> Book is missing. Oh, right. Okay, so. Must be my imagination. No, do not read. Put book on shelf. Yay. Oh, something's moving around. Oh, wait, no, that was the case. <gasps> Just sprinting. Is that like three jump scares in a row? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get like desensitized to them and not be so jumpy. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Put book on shelf. And here we'll hear a creepy noise. One. Creepy noise two. How far do I have to go? <laughs> <laughs> I need the butterfly! Give me the butterfly! What? I couldn't get the butterfly! Maybe you just have to leave first? Uh, and then come back? It's gone. There's nothing- it like- oh, that was the human head! <laughs> oh shit! I hate that. Oh yeah, okay, wow. now I can take the butterfly. Viola was like, no, get get me out of here, bitch! <laughs> yeah, are you, are you kidding me? There's oh, this- a human head! <laughs> 
<laughs> a model with brilliant blue wings. Oh, I can't look at it. Also, the suit of armor is back, which I don't like. Do you think if I walk in front of him, he'll, like, attack me? You never know oh, no. Oh, it didn't say that it looked like it would move at any moment. Maybe it's, like, a, like a, a non-living one now. Maybe it... <laughs> Maybe the real suit of armor went to go get an actual suit of armor. Yeah. Like, it was like, I need a bathroom break. This guy. I'll just put this dummy here. No one will notice if I'm gone. But if that was just like a really a, an armored dude, like a guard, just actually doing his job, chilling, <laughs> but like so still you couldn't tell he was alive, he just went to go get a suit of armor. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you, you stand in for five seconds. Uh, I gotta pee. <laughs> The spider has poor eyes. He can't even tell colors apart. Oh, so the model. Yeah, I gotta, like, replace it. This poor butterfly. Okay, take, and then very quickly put in the model. Yes. Okay, nothing eat me, please. Okay, I made it out. And the butterfly flutters out of your hands and slips out through the wall. And something Yay. was unlocked. So that's cool. Well, the kitty's gone. Aww. Oh, wait. Was this door open before? I do not Oh! Remember. The servant hung themselves. What? No! In the library. Why? I'm still just me in the mirror, so that's something. Door opened. Oh. It's dark outside. Are these like sacks of flour? Hey, cat. I mean, in this house, are we sure? <laughs> sacks of teeth. Yo. <laughs> I'm the witch. My four <laughs> wisdom have grown into a whole collection. Oh! Where did I oh. Get them? oh. <laughs> I've died. <laughs> oh. Well. Alright, I'm just gonna, uh... Not stand still and let it stab you? Yeah. Oh! The That's so you. fast. I guess I need to stay to the left. Or you're, you could sprint. Oh, right. Okay, that's way easier to avoid them. It's just hard to control. <laughs> yeah, I okay, so it lagged a little bit, and so you said it's way easier to control them and immediately walked into one of the knives. <laughs> hey, cat. Understand. Yep. Well, have a nice day. By the way, this is a witch's house. Thanks. You knew that, right? Right, right. So helpful. Love this cat. Um, you tell me now? <laughs> oh, a little frog! Do you like frogs? Yes. <gasps> Hi. Just like Sebastian Stardew Valley. I have a frog now. A, friend. a lost frog searching for his home. Pet frog. The frog is happy. I, I'm so happy. <laughs> is this a door? So I'm watching, it's locked. Uh, I think I told you I, I was a big fan of uh, Dimension 20. Uh, hyper focused for a while, mm -hmm. and the wizard character uh, gets a an emotional support frog. Her familiar, uh, his name is Boggy. Oh, <laughs> that's really he cute. Had no backpack. Oh, backpack where he keeps his applesauce. I he would, <laughs> unless he keeps a smaller frog <gasps> in the backpack. Oh, that'd be so cute. So in the end, it ended up being, um. She kept a. She had a backpack where she kept a frog. Where the frog had another backpack. Who? What's in the other backpack? Who knows? <laughs> so this frog is Boggy. Boggy. That's a really good name. A piece of strawberry shortcake stuck at the table. Well, I'm kind of glad I can't like eat that. I feel like that would be pretty classic witch house fare. Yeah. Make a mirror image. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, man. Um, it was still a staple of, of the time. Oh, okay, cool. I don't have to do that again. The other one I identify as being in that 
era, even though it wasn't an RPG music game, was Corpse Party. <laughs> Oh, I need I wanna take the froggy with me. Yay! Through the next door and let nothing distract you. Okay. Another witch's diary. My father and my mother didn't love me, so I X them. I don't know if that's we don't know the word or if she literally wrote X. <laughs> I've been in this house ever since. I mean, that's okay. So she killed her parents and moved here? I guess so. Or was she living here with her parents? I'm not sure. Wait, you saw that article earlier. Is this Ellen? Um. Ellen? Well, oh, maybe. Like, her parents were killed in the. Yeah, that would make sense. She killed her parents and set the house on fire and then came out here. Is that yeah. what you're thinking? That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because Ellen's, Ellen's body was never found. Oops. And like, oh! It's like <laughs> oh no! Damn. You let something distract you. I did. Unfortunate. Do I just need to. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. the next door let nothing distract you oh okay okay yeah no knife will hurt me there was a false cat did you see that oh fake cat fake cat he's hungry Don't like that. Something's on the other side. A he, perhaps? Oh, I can... Okay, look at door. There's a viewing window the size of your palm. You see slimy black scales. Oh. Mysterious. Listen closely. You hear something big crawling. I will not open door. I'm curious what happens if you open door. We can open door. Really? <laughs> are you sh are you sure, you idiot? All right, go. I would like to see it. Oh, I couldn't even really see what it was. It looks sort of like a big snake, I think. I guess that would make sense. Yeah, it honestly wasn't as big as I expected. It was just like two tiles big. Huh. Now we know. Oh. I <laughs> I just saw it. Yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
All right, back through the distraction room. False cat, false diary. Okay, I remember what I have to do here, and it's very sad. No. It's the, the only thing you have to eat on you is the... Yeah. No! Put frog in a window. The frog is reluctant. No! Of course it is! I'm sorry. No. This little girl is terrible. I guess I'll just go through? Yeah? I mean... Eep. Probably. Okay, yeah. You Aww. fed the creature. A large fisher. The ground is wet and smells of blood. I guess the frog was the last thing that snake needed to be like, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, no. oh, the frog appeared behind me. Did you see that? I didn't yet. Oh, oh. no. You're leaving the fisher behind. Oh, no. Oh, Cats. no. I saw the frog. <laughs> no. A cat statue. Kidding. <laughs> hey, don't ignore me. <laughs> 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 oh, cool trick. Love that. <laughs> I'm going upstairs? Upstairs, I think. Go where only one eye is open. Ugh. Don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, that one has open eyes. These are both closed. Okay, so... Uh... Yeah! I hate that this one is also a mouth, though. Alright, go in- Oh! Uh. I have entered. Oh. Oh, spikes. Make sound in four rooms. Yo. This floor is pretty quiet. That's why I'm gonna make sound in four of them. Hi. A toy soldier with a fake gun. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I would not like to test it. <laughs> I would prefer not to. Yes. <laughs> a big glass cupboard. Teacups and saucers. Play the music box with twelve. With with twelve. With twelve? Uh, yeah, not twelve somethings, just twelve. I also didn't like how your reflection only appeared in the mirror when you looked at it. Yeah, I think that might just be an RPG maker thing, though. Yeah, but I didn't like it. It definitely adds to the atmosphere. It definitely does. I can play the music box, but it says it's missing its key, which I feel like means it shouldn't be able to play. <laughs> Should I play it? Go for it. Might as well. Oh, it does play. That's cute. Maybe it doesn't stay wound up. Maybe. A toy box that won't open. Witch's Diary. I X all the friends who came to my house. Punch the pumpkins. Punch, punch the pumpkins. Silver-haired woman. Black-haired woman. Blonde-haired woman. Red-haired woman. Well, I can't see their eyes, so I don't know what the eyes are about. I mean, one of them is different, yeah? One of them is? There's two with, yeah, there's two with faces and one without. They all look like they have faces to me. They're just really... F uh, they're just really faint. Well, does that mean that it's this one? Uh. Well, I guess it's not that one. Uh, I guess I'll try hitting one. Makes a pleasing sound. It doesn't make Do much of a sound. Oh, so if that one made a pleasing sound and the other ones don't make sounds, maybe that's it? I guess so. I don't really know what that means, though. 
Oh, I made like a little rhythm on it. I did the do 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 I don't think that really counts as music. Let me look at the paintings again. A piano. A gorgeous face. You need not play. Oh, there's something in here. Eye studies. Oh! People have different eye colors. We know the following about women in this region in particular. A woman's eye color depends on her hair. Yeah, of course. That's how that's how <laughs> that's how it works. The four hair colors, the four eye colors. Okay, so silver woman silver haired women have red eyes. Uh blonde and red haired women have brown eyes. Wait a minute. Wait, so which one did they not mention? Wait. They said blonde haired women have brown eyes. You have green eyes. I do have green eyes. We need blue yeah. eyes. So they so they mentioned silver, blonde, and redheads. So that means the black haired woman must have the blue eyes. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna try. Oh, that would be so unhelpful. <laughs> I can't go to that door? I don't understand. Oh, I got turned into a painting. That's pretty funny. Oh. <laughs> How do I escape her? Both the doors were locked. Um, well, you don't have the machete anymore. I was gonna be like, hmm, well, maybe it's time to resort to violence? Yeah, time to hack and slash. I don't... Like, the only other things I can interact with are the pumpkins, but I don't know why that would be any help. This door opens now. I'm pretty sure it, it's, it wouldn't let me out, though. Maybe she, like, leaves a hole behind? Maybe. Yeah! Okay, not quite, but I ruined her painting, and that worked. <laughs> oh, sweet. Um, okay, so I will go... Oh, little ghost girl. I'll put the sheet music on the piano. Don't play. Oh, um... A musical score with no notes on it. Place. Um, I mean, I don't want to play the piano. <gasps> Yay! Yeah, weren't you asked not to play the piano? It it said I think it was like you need not you play. Need not play. Yeah. yeah. I got a king key. Was this the king room? Ew! Stay away. Gross. Uh, I guess I won't be seeing my reflection anymore. <laughs> oh no. Um, oh, maybe the king key is the music box key. Oh, maybe. Um, it says, oh yeah, it describes it as a small turn key with a king engraved on the end. Insert king key. Yeah. All right. It, well, it's playing the same song as before, so hopefully the soldier doesn't kill me again. No! Punch the pumpkin some more. Okay. This is the one that makes a nice sound. Yeah, I think... I think since it's different from the others, that's going to be it. Yeah. I don't know what to do with it, though. I can just keep hitting it. It Maybe. makes, like, slightly different rhythms every time. Oh! The... Wait, the, was that right? The... Whatever... One of the rhythms opened the door. Oh. I do not like this room. Cool. I can be the sun, I can be sand, and I can be a bird. What am I? Hmm. Uh, oh, a clock! A clock! Because it, it's a cuckoo clock, uh, an hourglass, and oh, a sundial. Yeah, yeah! Okay, um, so clock. Yes. Correct! Yeah! <gasps> Yay! Good job! Thank you! Oh, and I, I got a queen key! Oh, hell yeah! I am um, king of puzzles. You are king of puzzles. Queen key. Okay, it still plays the same song. I'm just gonna check. Okay, didn't kill me this time. Yeah! Awesome. 
wait, so I still need to play sound in the king's room. Oh, the clock has moved. It's not ticking. Oh, I need to put the key... Nothing on the back. I need to put the key in the clock. Yes. Oh, I can't reach. Yeah, it's not ticking. Yeah. Yeah, now it's ticking. Is that sound in all four rooms? I think so. Yeah, sound was made in all the rooms. Sweet. Yay. Oh, there's like a head poking out of the lilies now. <laughs> I don't like that. And the toy soldier fall over. Your duty's done, sir. You've killed me so many times. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more? Oh, this is the statue that was in the other room. A sobbing statue of a woman. Oh, I can talk to her. My ring, it's not here. There sure is a theme of, like, grieving brides in these RPGs, huh? I don't yeah. know where your ring is. Dark stained glass windows. Am I supposed to know? Was I supposed to get a ring from somewhere? Mm. Oh no, what's happened? Oh, was this here before? I don't think there was a fireplace here before. I don't remember there being one. Well, let's look in it. A fireplace. Look inside. There's a hole and an iron ladder going down. Well, it's the only way I can go. Descend. Oh! I forgot I had gone upstairs. Uh. Uh. Back in here. The cook is- oh wait! There's still- the pot is boiling. Um, there's a big dragging mark. Oh! The store wasn't here before. Ooh, catacombs. Oh, it's filled with skeletons and bodies and stuff. None of the skeletons have hands. Oh, because the cook got them. They all lend hands. What a terrible cook, only using the hands. Wait, Wait a minute. Wait a hmm. minute. Well, first of all, Hannibal Lecter, and second of all, um, <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. This is where this is where all the witch's friends are going, because she said she invited them, and the house got them, right? So oh this is yeah. Where all her friends are ending up. <laughs> the house is like digesting them. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> but There's... also, you're correct. <laughs> There's chopsticks in the skeleton's ribs. I take them. Oh, they're gold chopsticks. That's pretty fancy. Very fancy. Ugh. Um, I don't really know where the gold chopsticks are gonna go, and that that door still isn't open. Wait, you said there's a locked door, right? <gasps> Hello? Uh, a heated pot. Oh, yeah, I can look at it. Um, a metal pot thoroughly used. It smells odd, doesn't do much for your appetite. <laughs> open lid. Used a nearby cloth to pull off the cover. A lidless pot. Um, let's use the chopsticks to search it. Caught something. Ugh, there's a skeleton in the window. And I got a pig ring. Which I'm not sure what that means. What is a pig ring? Oh, and I got to keep the chopsticks, that's cool. The, oh, neat. the pig ring is blackened and smells foul. I, like, I don't know what that is. Maybe, I mean, if it's a ring, maybe you can try putting it on the lady's hand and see if she fucking slaps you into next week. Oh, um, 
uh, put the chopsticks back. Maybe the skeletons are keeping you here. Oh, yeah. One of them did look out through the window. That would make sense. He wants them back. I'm sorry. It was the ribs, right? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, put the chopsticks back. Uh, oh, yeah. And the ribs. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Little wiggling its head at me. Aww. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that definitely seemed to be the right answer. Oh. Oh, is this door I locked? I am on fire. Why am I not streaming? Yeah, you're, like, killing it. <laughs> I, I, this door has been locked the whole time. Oh, wait, no, I did, I went in here for something. I can't remember now. All right. You hear someone coming down the stairs. Oh, run, oh, run. I can't Back move. Oh, 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 there's a timer. Oh, that was very stressful. I didn't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry it's called Pig Ring. I didn't name it that. <laughs> this is my... Thank you. Okay, she seems cool. I would love... Oh, something broke. I would love to see the cat right about now. Oh, how sad. Oh, collapsed statue of a woman. A red Aww. fluid leaks from her cracks. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's a pig ring. Yeah? Is that like the name of something? No, uh, like a cop gave her a ring. So it's <laughs> a ring from a pig, so it's a pig ring. Uh huh. And she's like, gross. I'm collapsing under the weight of what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Dolls. Oh boy, we love those. That's a staple for an RPG horror game. It really is. RPG maker horror game. RPG maker horror game. Oh, I like that I move slower when I'm carrying the doll because they're so big. I have not seen a cat in a while. I would love to see a cat. I just want a little cat to say yo at me. Oh! Oh, there's a cat. Yo. Found the cat. Seems this is the top floor. Oh, well, you have a little, a little cup of ginger tea. That's very cute. Beautiful flower. Oh, the flower's talking to me. How do you do? Oh, how nice. Very polite. Birds eat greenery. Lots of clocks. It's like a family of flowers. <laughs> Honestly, she's such a nuisance. Oh, won't somebody X that girl? If someone did, ah yes, we'd share some of our wonderful pollen. Why would I want your pollen? Yeah. Oh my, you've got quite big arms. Oh ho. To think, without her we would be the most beautiful of the garden. I know, oh, right? No Oh, are they talking about the white flower? Yep, I think so. That's so sad. Look under table. On yeah. The or yellow? <laughs> There's a skull on the floor. Oh, I found a skull. Who are the beds for? The flowers? There's only three, though. Yeah. Oh, there's writing over here now. X the flowers and you'll die too. Well, <laughs> that answers that question, I guess. A large clock. Time marches on. Oh. Ugh. Another witch's diary. Then a girl came over to play. A cute girl with golden braids. That's me! <gasps> yes! Twists and turns. All right, um, well, I have a skull. Oh, there's a door down here. That's pitch black. All right, I need like a lantern, I guess. Let's go over here. A book titled The Talkative Plants. 
The flower ladies are beautiful and can speak. These are their characteristics. The white flowers are the most beautiful of the garden. When touched by rain, oddly, their petals glow. The red grasses are knowledgeable, but they're always lying, so be careful when conversing with them. The yellow flowers are lovely to a fault. The pollen produced by these flowers is a strong medicine that can kill or give life. I guess that's why we want their pollen. Oh, yeah. Um, more but greenery. To kill or give life to. Yeah. More greenery. It's locked, it's pitch black. Medicine. <laughs> Just a sign that says medicine. Um, it's locked. Someone's moaning inside. Hi. <laughs> medicine. You got any? I don't. Oh, they well. That's rude. What? A metal bird cage. Something feebly faps its wings. Oh. Oh, I can't open the cage door. Unfortunate. Have a nice day. <laughs> Red grass. You want to know how to X a flower? I forget what exactly the proper way to X is. It was either cutting it up or uprooting it. None of the three ways are proper. You should just give up on it. Uprooting and plucking are both proper ways to X. Hmm. So this one says uprooting and plucking, and this one says uprooting or cutting it up. So they both say uprooting. But the red grasses also lie. Yeah, so what is the other way? Um, it seems like there's three ways. Cutting it up, uprooting it, or plucking. And then this one just says none of them. And I also need medicine. So, okay, so... Oh, there's a skull here now. I'll take that. Well, the red grass that was saying it's either cutting it up or uprooting. No. No, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like uprooting... <sighs> Excuse me. Uprooting was like the common factor. That's like my only guess. How do you do? Well, plucking it would destroy the flower, right? So you couldn't... Well, they'd all... So I need to kill this flower to get the pollen from the yellow ones. Yes, to get the medicine for the dude who was asking for medicine? Yes. Um, I'm not sure why the yellow flowers care how I how I X this one. But I'm going to I'm going to try uprooting. I just saved. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, tear up. No. Oh, okay. Plucking didn't kill me. Okay. I don't know how I was supposed to get that. <laughs> I'll Maybe take... just trial and error. I guess so. I got some flower petals from it. Hey, I killed... <laughs> I heard it. I heard her ugly wail. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> Hmm? Ah yes, our promise. Here you are. Got a white powder. All right. Oh, little ghost girl. Um, I don't know if I need to do anything to the white powder. I'll try and show it to the person. Yeah. Just need a little. Just gonna snort up this white powder, huh? <laughs> I guess that is medicine of the time. You're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna cough and hack at me. Try selecting the medicine and passing it through the oh, door. Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. The person grabs the bars. Hey, give me that. Put the white powder through the bars. The person swiftly takes the powder. Ah? Wait a sec. Don't have a... Without that... Without that, I can't even use this. Well, I don't know what you're looking for, but you did knock over the birdcage. Let it out. Oh, it's an invisible bird. Ugh. Hidden in the darkness. Hmm. Well, there was some greenery. Yep, they ate the greenery over here. 
The water is sealed by the skulls. I do have some skulls. There's a skull inside. Okay, I have three skulls. You can see the little invisible bird flying around. That's cute. That is sweet. The hall is poison. Pass with colorless shoes. Oh, okay. I guess I can't be in here yet. Or maybe I, I do. I can go in. But I just can't go all the way through. Do I need to find something in 15 seconds? Okay. Well, something with the skulls then. I don't know what this room is. Go to the is. end of that hallway? A big hole with no visible bottom. Better throw the skulls in. I guess so. Don't. No. <laughs> it says the, the skulls seal the water. Yeah. I, but we haven't found any water yet. Yeah, we haven't found any water. Oh, there's a door at the end here. I didn't realize. Oh, here are skulls. Here are many skulls. Here are many skulls. Okay, so I need to put them... Oh, but there's four spots. Maybe I'm still missing a skull. There's a skull in here. Oh, yeah! There was a skull on the shelf! Book. The Skull Soldier. There, once, there was once a soldier. His country had perished and he had died, but he noticed neither of these things. Even in death, the soldier patrolled. Starting... Okay. My pen back. Starting in the center of the castle ruins... He looked... Wait, I need to draw a grid. Okay, so if we start at the center, it goes front, right, left. Yeah! Awesome! We didn't need to cheat, we just needed a hint. <laughs> we just needed to explore, I guess. Yeah. Ah! Whenever there's some sort of, like, item puzzle, as soon as I finish it, it's like, oh, you want a bigger one, right? Like, you want one to chase you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I you need to remember. You want so much, why don't you get eaten by one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The pot's oh, gonna break. Huh? Oh, I didn't pull the lever. <laughs> oh, ha -ha. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I just said I figured out how the soldier died. He just never looked behind him. Yeah. Just front, right, and left. You hate to see it. Oh, it comes in the room? Did I tell you already about um, my D&D uh, &D homebrew species? I think you did, but I'm not sure. The skeletons? No. Okay, so. Necromancers happen as they do. This one happens to... I mean, it's something you may encounter if, like, uh, the campaign actually goes through instead of just being a series of one-shots. <laughs> go, white boy, go! <laughs> <laughs> you run from this skull. Um, but, um... 
necromancers do the thing as they do. Um, and this one accidentally uh, left behind a bunch of skeletons um, that were still activated. And over time they gained sentience and figured out how to give other skeletons sentience. And so now they're just kind of like a, a dungeon full of... Just a dungeon full of uh, skeletons who are like... Chill. And intelligent, they can talk to you, but they do keep asking you if you want to be freed from your flesh prison. And so, like, they, like, reanimate, like, boar skeletons and stuff to serve as, like, mounts and stuff, and they go, like, hunting and shit, but they don't need to eat, so they're just looking for fellow skeletons to free. I like that very much. <laughs> I'm glad you do. <laughs> I haven't figured out any stats for if anybody wants to play them, but, like... <laughs> be free, my brethren! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all sound like skeletons, or I don't make the rules. <laughs> this tadpole says my dad is dead. My dad is dead. What was the water for? My dad was eaten by a snake. You killed him. Oh, oh the tadpoles killed me. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm slowly learning Twitch. You've got this. Alright, everything looks fine. Alright, we're searching everything. Oh, I can take a bottle. Yay! Now, I'm sure that can be used either for water or for the medicine. Or maybe it needs water for the medicine. Oh, maybe empty bottle. Yeah, fill with water. Okay. He's still freaking out. Oh, can I not? No, I, ca I can't seem to uh, use the bottle. Oh, um, the flower petals, maybe. No? Then I ha I have hmm. wait um the flower it said the white flower petals blow in the rain so maybe combine the white flower petals with the bottle of water and you get a light source oh yeah okay it wasn't letting me do it because I was in front of the cell put pe oh. put petals in bottle the bottle began emitting light okay yeah oh wait no that means I can go in the dark place yeah yeah progress. Progress! Hell yeah! Oh, that's very spooky. Don't like that. Oh, is this a maze? I bet it's a maze. Look under table. There's nothing underneath. Cool. Oh, but there's blood stains on the wall now. Oh, I love that. Oh, statues. Statue maze. Ah! Ghost girl. More statues. And that one moved. This is a big room. Oh, let me search. I'm still not clear on what I'm looking for either. I guess you'll know it when you see it. Oh. I didn't exactly explain. Yeah. Something in one of the drawers. A jade pipe. Yep, he, he needs... Oh, okay. He's got to smoke it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't run in here. I guess that's good. It means I don't have to run from anything. Oh, cool. Coffins. Oh, boy. I can't run, so... <laughs> We're just going at a nice leisurely pace. As the room slowly closes in around you. Yep, as the statues chase me. Very steadily. I dropped the, the bottle! Bottom. Just keep going, girl. Oh, no. Just keep going. I'm just holding up. Oh god, thank, thank goodness. I don't know if I could have died there. That would have been a little unfair. But I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, more progress. Yeah, more progress. A green smoking pipe. Let's give this man this... F <laughs> oh, the book closed. His fancy pipe. 
<laughs> I just toss it at him. <laughs> Person snaps up the pipe. Ah, yes, this is <laughs> mine. It's mine. <laughs> Who is this person? They vanish um, into the cell. I'd guess it's the Mad Father. Ah! You hear someone leaving the other cell. And after I hit it so well, it's not locked. Should I go in? I guess I'll go in. Might as well. Maybe there's some shoes inside. Oh, yeah. The making of... There's a lot of things that could fill in the blank there. Two the parents, art of making... a sick child, dependence. Hmm. Aww. Something wrapped in cloth. Mess of filthy sewing materials and cookware. That's random. Cookware. Oh, the shoes! Oh, the cook was put in prison. Oh! And that's why, yeah, that's why we didn't see anyone leave. Mm -hmm. Let them bleed. So stick them in the water. Yeah. Won't you wear the shoes? Um, in a sec. <laughs> cool your jets. <laughs> I know the tadpoles are still mad. Wash the shoes. Oh, they were stained with blood. <laughs> cool. Yeah. But they're clear now. They are. And I can now walk on poison. And it looks like I don't need to equip them. Cool. That chair- <laughs> What the fuck? Oh god, why? <laughs> I have to go out that way. Went out for more groceries, I guess. Listen, if it's what the witch wants. Yeah. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> that really is uh, what we're working with here. Okay, wash the shoes. I'm gonna try to do the the schoolroom loop. All right, I believe in you. Oh! Okay, that was more of a jump scare than a chase. Okay. Alright, and I have the colorless shoes, so let's go. Wait, the timer's still going down. What? I mean, you're walking through poison. Yeah, but I have the shoes. What? Here's my take. I think the whole room is poison because it's like diffused in. Mm -hmm. You just gotta fucking run. I go can't run. I'm holding the sprint oh, button. Oh man. Then like go through the door as fast as you can. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, but it's still poison in it. Maybe I need to just keep going straight. But then why is that room there? Unsure. Three, two. Okay, I guess I just can't go in that room. It's like a misdirect. Yo. Oh. What do you suppose a friend is? You're my friend, I hope. Witch's diary. I didn't ex her because she saved me from my sickness. So I made her my friend. Oh, this does not promise to be good at all. I do not like this. What are these? Nausea? Oh, is it like a... Yeah. Pharmacy? Yeah. More like a lab, I think. Mm. Oh, bookshelf. There's a small bottle on the shelf. Oh, I'm sure I'll need that. A cute little <laughs> bottle! Oh, how cute! A doll head. Uh, I guess I'll take the doll head! <laughs> Taking the doll like head is always a mistake. Okay, I guess I need to grab the doll head. Pick up. You made it. I Damn. did. I don't 
There's some aw. The cat's He's shedding. Gone. Um, so I got doll head and Oh, medicine that kills the witch's roses. Um, <laughs> That's awfully specific. <laughs> oh, and I can go through the hallway now. Sweet. Yay! It looks very fresh now. It does. It looks minty fresh. What's that? Oh, that's where I need to uh, put the doll head. Oh, can I... Do I need to pick it up, I guess? Got headless... Oh, cool. Wait, there was a doll missing from the room. There was. The I bet it'll loop her back around to that. I don't like the cockroaches in there. They are quite unpleasant. Oh, it's all spooky here now. Hmm. The cat won't even talk to me. Oh, but he drank the rest of his ginger tea. Oh, good for him. Good for him. You are complete. Your girl group is ready. KDA who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my only option, is to descend. Oh. Uh-oh. Ominous. Following some bloodstains. Come to my room. Come down below, Eve. I'll show you someplace special. <laughs> Hi, kitty cat. The corpse? No! No! Oh, I guess I have to walk on it. Oh dear. Wait, is this the end? I you think. Found a room. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the mirror is fogged up and shows nothing. Witch's diary. My sickness was going to kill me, so I took her body from her. I lived on in her body. That's fine, right? Because we're friends. She gave me her body. Because we're friends. So today we should play some more. Right? Viola? No. Ah. <sighs> That's that's us. That's Viola in the witch's body. What? Remember it said the girl with the braids came to play? Oh, shit. Uh, it won't open. <laughs> I, I got pretty far, though. This sucks. Oh, the front door. <sighs> ah! oh, no. I mean, I don't even know how to feel about that, because, like, I'm the witch in Viola's body. I think. Because she was... Wait, but then... Why are you entering the house, then? I don't know. That's true. That doesn't make any sense. Did you just swap? Like when you looked in the mirror? I don't think so. Are you are you coming back just to flex? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, there's a note. Dear Viola, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's an old legend that says a witch lives in the forest and kidnaps children who get lost there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Your friend's name was Ellen, right? Okay, Ellen was the little girl whose parents died in the fire. I'm not totally sure how that what that means. So she no, was going but they didn't die in the fire, there were stab wounds. They were stabbed. And the wicks the witch killed her parents and left. Okay, so maybe so Ellen is the witch. Ellen is the witch, yeah. And that was El yeah, that was Ellen's house. 
and I can get out through the roses now. Wait, but it said that was one half of a letter. Is there another half? It's raining now. Oh, I can't get back. I guess you just gotta go. I'm just trucking. Oh, is that my dad? You're my dad! Boogie boogie boogie. Hi! You, thank goodness. You were pretty late, so I've been searching the whole forest. I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get home and get out of the rain. Stand back. Oh no. <sighs> no matter what, that just sucks. Thanks, Dad. What other endings are there? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure there's an ending where if you go in a room when the witch when when she's chasing you, you find like an item. Um and I'm pretty sure I was remembering that end because I think it does turn out that you are the witch in Viola's body in that ending. Um okay. if I remember right, but I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> I guess we'll look up the endings and talk about them then. <laughs> I don't know if there's any other endings either. I think it's just this one and whatever that is. But I could be wrong. Okay, there's a normal ending and a true ending that you can get. Okay. The good ending. Uh, okay. Uh, Viola is able to escape from the house in the front door. Viola escapes to the forest, seemingly escaping Ellen's wrath, and pours the medicine inside the cute little bottle on the roses, which makes all the roses and the magic in the forest disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, she uh, exits the forest without being harmed. As she escapes, she finds her father, who has been searching for her as she was missing the entire day. As they reunite, the legless girl reappears in, and attempts to, take Viola, attempts to take Viola's body. Viola's father, out of fear and love for his daughter, shoots the legless girl and kills her. As they exit the forest, Viola looks back at the legless girl, seemingly recounting all of the events that occurred to her in the witch's house. The screen turns black and the credits will roll. In the ending credits, Viola is seen following closely behind her father. She stops for a moment and turns around, staring off in the direction of the witch's house. Her father calls for her, and the two finally depart together. Near the end of the credits, the black cat ap appears briefly along the forest path, watching Viola and her father disappear in the distance before vanishing. Oh, so he lives in that one. Yay! Uh, when the legless girl chases Viola, Viola is able to obtain Ellen's knife from the closet in the present room. Once she chooses to obtain the knife, she exits the witch's house, seemingly escaping the wrath of the legless girl. As with before, Viola pours the medicine into bottle. However, instead of encountering her father upon escaping, she instead finds the legless girl, seemingly attempting to take Viola's body. Contrary to Viola's good nature, Viola begins taunting the legless girl and stabs her with Ellen's knife. Oh, fuck. Viola Shit. reveals that the body-switching spell that Ellen initially used to switch bodies with Viola has already happened. Therefore, throughout the entire game, Ellen lives in Viola's body, while the true Viola is trapped in Ellen's mutilated body. Ellen recounts how Viola felt so sorry for her, and so willingly accepted to switch bodies with Ellen. However, as Ellen enjoyed her painless body and loving father, she refused to give it back, thus breaking her promise that she would return the body back to Viola after a day. As Ellen taunts Viola some more, Viola's father appears, and Ellen pretends to be terrified of Viola in her mutilated state. Viola attempts to speak to her father, trying to explain that she's the real Viola, 
but her speech only comes out as garbled words. Believing Viola is the real witch and that Ellen is, is his daughter, Viola's father shoots Viola twice in the head, and Ellen and Viola's father escape through the forest. Before Ellen escaped the forest, she giggled, clearly amused at being able to steal a new body and obtain a loving father. Real Meanwhile, the black cat, who is now revived, uh, approaches Viola's body. Viola's body disappears, and the black cat disappears as well. That's so sad. That's so sad. So there wasn't a witch. There was just Ellen, like, practicing witchcraft, I guess. There's two more endings. There's two more endings? The secret or pseudo third ending. If Viola chooses not to interact with the black cat at all for the duration of the game, Viola will instead find that the black cat has not been reduced to a corpse, contrary to the previous endings. Through a one-way dialogue between the black cat and Ellen, he mentions that the magic is about to fade in this house, and everything in the house will die once the witch dies, since she seems to have magic again. In the middle of this dialogue, his name will change from black cat to demon, he mentions that while demons have no physical forms, this does not mean that they are immortal. The demon's final words to Viola are, Good luck with the rest, Ellen. My faithful witch. The demon's dialogue confirms that the black cat that helped Ellen throughout the house was indeed the demon that made the contract with Ellen. Once Ellen enters her room, she will recognize all of the objects in the room. For example, instead of saying this... Uh, instead of saying a toppled chair upon investigating the chair, Ellen would say, A toppled chair. Viola would sit in this and talk to me. In addition, the diary entry will change as it will give more description as to how Ellen's body became that mutilated state. Before Viola and Ellen switched bodies, Ellen gouged out her eyes and cut off her legs. She also gave Viola throat-burning medicine when Viola was in Ellen's body, lying that it would stop the pain of the illness. Once the legless girl chases Ellen, both the good and the ending and the true ending are obtainable depending on the play player's actions. Yeah. So she like switched bodies and then didn't just like it. She like purposely from the beginning was like, I am not going back. I'm gonna kill my friend. Yeah. She was planning the whole time. Shit. She's like seven. She's thirteen, actually. Oh, she's thirteen. Oh, I guess seven was when her parents. She killed her parents. Yeah. Um, Did you say there was a fourth one? Yeah. Uh, the main ending. In version 1.7, 1.07, a new ending was added. In order to get this ending, Viola must stay still for an hour. <laughs> the window must be active. After an hour, the witch is frozen, and the magic will disappear, allowing Viola to escape the forest before evening. Since it is still in the morning, Viola's father will not be looking for Viola, and Viola will only escape the forest in this ending. Combined with the information... In the diary of Ellen, this reveals that Viola bo Viola's body was in such a mutilated state that even if Ellen only waited, the witch's magic would eventually fade regardless of well whether Ellen intervened or not. Okay. So it looks like you were in the forest because Viola was in your body and so she can use magic. So mm -hmm. she tried to trap you in there so she could kick your ass. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But she, in that state, she died. Damn. That's fucked. RPG Maker Horror. Yay. <laughs>